Welcome back to the channel. We just came back from the Arnold Classic, competed in the Arnold Amateur World Championships, and what a great weekend it was. It was great to compete against the, all the amateur heavies, but it was also great to see a lot of new faces and a lot of uh, good friends from over the years. So let's get into it, but first we'll talk about training leading up to it, and also a little history of, of my history within the Arnold Classic. So let's talk about it. This was a tough show to prep for with seven events and one being a mystery event. So when you're factoring your training, you could add a few extra events um, like this conventional deadlift to figure out what that last mystery event is. Um, but also the degree of difficulty. I didn't do a great job in terms of uh, capturing all the training footage, but this is what I was able to get. Farmers went great, trained for the fat back that with extra picks, holds, and runs. But this is pretty much a pretty brutal event um, where you're doing, where we end up picking the handles, uh, which is about 700 pound uh, collectively, 350 in each hand, um, eight times as well as running 80 feet with it. I was delighted to see a Mac Circus dumbbell press in the final events on Sunday using the Rogue Monster Bell. I've been using it since 2015 for reps at the Arnold Amateur, but um, for a max would be a first time. And then for my farmer's run, um, this ended up being my last one. I did close to competition weight with 340 in each hand, um, and it did, of course, the full uh, four picks on each side. A uh, little gas out of this one, and, and it decided to kind of cut it off there and start the deload about 12 days out. So, this, so prior to this, I've had four other Arnolds in 2015, and I'm taking fourth at the 105 kilo World Amateur, and that was the first year they had it, um, and the top four made the main stage. 2016, um, I took up 25th, so it was my first time um, bumping up um, a weight class, um, and really treated it like a primer, but I always try to do, get into that finals, but um, was 16th going to that last position, and then ended up um, finish the 25th. Um, 2018, um, it was probably my closest run, so I gained a little weight um, after 2017 World Strongest Man, 105 kilo. Uh, I was up to like 265, uh, and I narrowly missed the finals, uh, taking 11th um, out of four years, so competitors. And then 20, in 2019 was the last one I went to, when I ended up taking 26 out of, again, four years, so competitors. Um, this one, again, was kind of primer, but I just wanted to hop in, experience the festival, and also get a little competition out of it. And then if all things went well, maybe we the finals. The Arnold Classic 2023. So I work out a couple of booths besides competing. So the SPD booth and also the zone booth. Uh, it was great to meet all you guys all there. And of course, see a lot of new faces. Um, I also got to work the SPD booth with Aaron Murray. She went on to win the heavyweight show for the amateurs. And you'll be seeing her on the main stage, which is a huge accomplishment. Um, the world's strongest man firefighters got a, uh, my buddy Nico and Steve were deadlifting in their booth. They both pulled up, up upwards for 800 pounds of reps. Um, so they're, of course, my strong deadlifting friends. And here we go. Start of the competition. First event, Fatback Farmers, 350 in each hand. Solid reps, but you really the judges were pretty strict in terms of their down and up to command. So you got to really get to stay focused. So good way to start the sh start the show. Viking press, looking very forward to this. I always say a good Viking press is great push press technique. But in this particular contest, uh, double dipping was allowed. So split jerk, power jerks, even push jerks were even um, involved here. I tried to do one split jerk at the end, but didn't quite uh, didn't quite get it. So arm over arm, this one was interesting. So of course, coming off of two seconds, um, I felt pretty good about around this. And um, I thought after the event, I crushed it. Um, probably got another maybe top five spot. But I re realized it was actually one of my worst events, but relative to my training and for what I can do, it was a great result for me. Uh, I don't know if I could, of course, uh, put in more drive and have more consistent uh, pulling motion, but the, just the name of the game when you're going against the heavyweights Some guys have those long leverages that can just pull it for miles and, and for days So 
So the next event, the odd object and load. So fire hydrant, um, the cube, the Husfel, the, the Hazara stone, also a sandbag instead of the originally it was supposed to be a keg. But um, this one was interesting. Of course, a lot of the things can really train. You're not going to have it on your own. Um, but looking back at it, I probably should have had a little more of a crisp um, technique going in. Not crisp technique, but more of a better strategy. I think I wasted some time in terms of the setup, in terms of picking up from my one motions and all. Um, but over, overall, I don't think that would if I was five seconds faster, it wouldn't change too much of the result. Because some guys are hitting this um, in 30 seconds. Um, I think that's what the winner was. Pretty much picking up groceries and putting them up, up on the platform is how easy they're making it look. So the dumbbell, so day two. Uh, looking forward to this. So we start, I start my first uh, dumbbell press, I think it was around 226, second one being 243. Um, but the monster bell felt really good. Um, clean is always a little awkward. So I think this is my top one of uh, 260 um, or 259. And then went for 276. Um, and I missed it twice. Um, just the groove was a little off, and then my legs were also pretty, um, probably my quads were pretty beat still from the biking press and probably from the, the farmer's run um, from the previous couple days. Um, but with a little more work on that monster bell, I'll get that next time. So this was very cool, the Ukrainian deadlift, which was the mystery event. Um, so 735 was our was our weight. Um, I've trained Ukrainians a lot more last year, but uh, I still had a pretty good pattern. I got one good session in when it came to the Ukrainian deadlift, so I just was going to pull until I went. So big sniff with the, the blood uh, ammonia salts from, from Zone, and yeah, that got me pretty hyped. This one uh, was pretty important to really stay in a groove um, and to have the right kind of setup. And you didn't want to lean too far back or else you're going to be fighting the machine itself. But uh, squeezed out four reps. Thought I almost got a fifth, fifth one. Uh, but the winner ended up getting eight and second place getting uh, tied for seven. And the power stairs to finish off the day. Um, power stairs is the, definitely the heaviest. The, I think my, the heaviest implement I ever had was 400. Uh, and this went up to 484. And the steps were probably the biggest, being 18 inches. Um, but uh, I did great through the first two uh, implements. And then on the last implement, I, I started to kind of struggle. That was uh, was pretty heavy for me. Um, but I was just happy that I was able to kind of fit, finish and persevere. I wanted to quit, but... Mr. Jojo um, was cheering me on uh, the whole time. Um, Joseph Payne, and he, wa he wanted me to finish that, so that's what I did. And there you have it. Eighth place overall. Oscar goes to the pro stage next year. Lucas had a great contest. You should be very proud of all the work they put in. Justin earns his pro card and qualifies himself for America's Strongest Man. Um, and then the rest of the gang um, will probably be qualified to be at next year's Arnold Amateur if they choose. So it felt pretty good about that performance. I executed well, but kind of one glaring um, theme I saw this is that I got to build my work. Uh, my work capacity. Um, both days, I kind of start off great and then I kind of fizzle off towards the end. Um, I had great work capacity as 105 kilo, but now I got a, something I need to work on, something that I need to build up for um, the open class. Um, so with this eighth place, it puts me in pretty good company with other individuals, other 105k individuals that decided to take the step up into the amateur heavy, um, including uh, Matt Mills, Rob Kearney, Marcin Senwicki, um, the only person that has ever uh, won the show was Zach Hadge back in 2016. I was there competing with him, uh, so got a the, kind of almost a very kind of close eye feel in terms of 
um, the ups and downs of that contest, and but eventually kind of winning that show. Um, Zach has been, was such a great inspiration uh, back then, and he still is. Um, and he kind of showed that anything is possible. So um, I'm going to still keep cutting for this contest as long as I'm able, as long as I'm healthy. Um, but that is today's show. Um, I'm going to try to keep producing a vlog at least once a month in terms of the road to heavyweight. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and watch the journey. Like and comment. Tell me what you guys think. Um, more podcasts to come out. More material on the on the channel. Especially that I'm going into a little bit of an off season. Um, and of course, uh, have more time since I'm not competing. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. And until next time, everybody, stay strong.